Good morning, everyone. Hope you guys are having a good day today. Uh, so today, as you can tell by the caption, I am replacing the fuel pump on my Pontiac GT. All right. Uh, so far, it's been pretty straightforward. It's not too hard. Uh, you want to make sure that you open up your fuel lid. All right, before you disconnect the uh, battery. I right, just just make sure that this is left open. Uh, if possible, try to uh, pretty much drive your car if it's drivable, so you're really low on gas, or just siphon it out. All right, so one of the first things you want to do uh, when you're gonna remove the fuel tank, all right, um, when you when you pop open your trunk, there's a cover right here, right? It's like that gray, I don't know, like a carpet style cover. There's, there's like six pins in the front. There's like some, some plastic pins, uh, clips you just gotta remove. On the side, you're gonna have like a, another carpet right here on the side. Uh, there's gonna be like two clips right here, and then one like a, one clip that says, screw style so you unscrew it and that whole carpet piece comes out uh, so once you've removed all that there's gonna be a brace right here in the front all right it's gonna be a brace that looks like this uh, it's four bolts two on top right here is one two and then one on each corner that are that are on the base okay uh, regular socket to take them off on the bottom ones I use this I use this tool um, it's it's an 18. Um, I think I bought this like a like an AutoZone, Pebbles or uh, Lowe's or something. But it's like this style, uh, and and it'll take it right off. So once you take off this, those four bolts, uh, the brace is gonna pretty much pop off. Uh, the next thing that you're gonna want to remove is the brace. It's this thing right here, okay? So this is what's gonna hold the uh, tank in place. There's one on each side. And then in the bottom of the car, uh, there's two nuts that you have to remove as well, all right? But before you can get to those bottom nuts, uh, it's because they're being covered by this plastic. Uh, I guess this plastic panel that's in the bottom. Uh, you're going to want to remove in the back corner here, there's two tabs. All right, there's a tab right here that you got to remove, a tab on this side that you got to remove. Uh, and I know there's two nuts. Oh, oh, I think they're these right here. There's one right here, and then one on this side that you have to remove in order to access this one for the strap. And there's one on the other side for the strap as well. Uh, right there. Before you can pull that panel off, though, you need to remove the uh, speed sensors. Uh, there's just little clips that they that they slide out. One here, and then one here. All right. You take off the bolts, um, the, the clips in the back, um, and then the whole panel should slide off. Uh, and then um, from right there, you can remove the two brace bolts that are left. Uh, and then once you remove the brace, um, they'll just you know pop off. Next thing that you want to remove is the uh, harness that goes to the fuel pump. It'll be facing this way, so just squeeze and then pull out this way. This harness is with the fuel tank, so stay on there for now. Uh, and then for the fuel filler neck on this side, um, you're gonna wanna take off these three bolts. I think those are 10 mil. It's gonna be kinda hard to push it down. Push it down, pops out. Uh, just move it out of the way. And then the fuel pump itself you might have to like push it forward up and then like pop out okay I might get lodged on on this piece a bit um, oh you know what I have forgotten an important step uh, before you can even remove this fuel pump or pull it out there's two connectors that are outside in the bottom okay um, so the way they look like so this is their exact position as well okay um, on this one over here on this one, I should say, this was the one that was a bit more more tougher to get out. Uh, I seen a guy on YouTube said to spray some, some WD-40, so I did. Um, it's a tight space, but to remove this clip, let me show you. Push it in, and then pull down. But you have to push it in like almost all the way, and then just pull straight down, and it'll pop out. Again, you're gonna when you're looking from the bottom up, you're gonna see a plastic ring that's larger than the a diameter of this. You're gonna wedge a flat screwdriver in the middle, pry it out a bit, you know, um, 
not all crazy because you don't want to break it, but just pry a bit. And at the same time, be pulling down and then working on, on, on the other side as well. This one was the one that was a little tougher. Again, just push on this tab right here. Exactly where my thumb's at. Push in real deep and then pull down. Okay. Uh, once you t take these nuts off, the straps are unbolted, the connector's off, then the whole thing should just pop forward and uh, slide out. And then from here, uh, just pull out the fuel tank. All right. So the next thing I did was I cut this strap. I removed this uh, strap right here, uh, the tie down for the uh, filler neck hose. Okay, and then from there, there's like these tabs right here. There's maybe like one, two, three, four, five. I don't know, like, like six or eight tabs around the whole thing. But you just gotta press in. And once you got this move and the strap off, and then you just, just work on those tabs. And then the rest of it should just uh, pop right off, like that. And that's how you remove the uh, cover from the uh, fuel tank. Uh, next step is we're going to start working on the, uh, the lock retaining ring, I guess. The connections and pull out the fuel pump. And then uh, we'll just go from there. Alright, up with this, uh, in order to remove this hose, just push forward. Tension on both, pull back on this one here, just lift the tab up and pull the whole, uh, the whole thing back. On this gray one, I'll uh, just pinch here in the front and pull it straight up and get it going on that one. And then right here is where the uh, locking rings are. So of course the left is to make it loose, so I'm going to tap them towards this way. I'm going to tap here, tap here, tap here and so forth. You know, until it comes loose, so you don't want to put all the stress in one single area, okay? So tap here, tap here, but make sure you tap towards the left. Right. And, um, and then once you're gonna remove it, they hit, they have marked it here, so then to make it easy for you to check if it's came loose or not, so when you're gonna put it back, I'd say just put this mark under this tab. I saw in order to pull out the fuel pump um, for that connection down there, there's this wire right here just press on both tabs and pull and pull out like that just pull straight out on this one right here it was a tight fit but it goes to the top one right here uh to pull this one out i just had a pretty much pinch this side and the other side down down at the same time and then it'll pop out okay uh, and then from there just pull out the fuel pump mine actually had some fuel still in here so what i did just lean over the pump and you know, just pull the fuel back in there because it'll still fill up with uh, fuel in this uh, container right here, okay? And that's where we're at. Now that you have to push in first. Once you push it in, at the same time, you move this bar up. So now it's clear. And then you can just pull it straight out now, okay? Push this little tab right here, pull it up at the same time, then it's free, and then you just pull it straight out. In case you guys forget, um, before you can take this bottom section apart, you gotta lift up on these tabs. Gotta make sure that these are unplugged. Just make sure that you put them back in the same place. Um, towards the outside of the pump, uh, you, you have the, the red on the left and the black on the right. On the inside, um, you know, there it is. You got uh, to pull the lower section apart from the module. Uh, there is some force required, uh, just because at the bottom, this little, uh, this prong right here, it's going to be stuck or it's going to be attached to this O-ring. Tougher to pull out, but once you pull it out, it'll just come apart. Uh, then you want to clean up, you know, the as much as you can, of course. And then that'll give you access to the fuel pump and the fuel strainer. So to take to take this pump out, you're gonna have to stick a screw, just small screwdriver in here, and pry these tabs outwards. Tab right in there, and you pry it out like that, so it can release it from the hold on this. And then you just have to pull it out. Um, I was able to do this by myself. It was a little tough. And if you have an extra hand, it'll make it a lot easier. I mean, one person can pry the tab. The other person can just pull out the pump. And just make sure that you disconnect it first prior to uh, 
point of view. The wings, uh, one is gonna go, one is gonna go right here, but before you can put the, the O-ring on, you're gonna have to transfer this black plastic uh, part right here. You're gonna transfer onto the new one, put the, hold the O-ring on here, and just, just slide it in. Uh, the other O-ring, you're gonna slide it on there, because it's gonna go, uh, in this section, okay. Um, but if by by putting it here, it's gonna seat flat when it's connected. The same thing right there. Um, by putting it on the fuel pump, it'll seat flat when you, when you push it through. There you go. Um, and then just make sure that this piece gets transferred over. And the next thing, we're gonna switch out the. Uh, uh, I guess you don't have to switch it out. You probably just use a new one. Uh, just put it on there. Just. So the new fuel pump with the filter came with its own, uh, I guess, uh, and that's it. Put it on and uh, just make sure that you have transferred over the, uh, the black plastic piece from the O-ring. Now next thing, it's just going to be installed it in reverse order. Put the fuel pump back on, the electrical connections back on, slide this back onto here. Connect the, the wires back in the same location. Connect the fuel level sensor back onto here. Um, and then connect these two uh, once again. Put on the lock ring. And then start to connect the uh, top ring to here. The top two here and this one. Slide the, the pump back in. You know, the tank back in. Uh, Make sure that you uh, put the cover back on. If you want to put a zip tie on this end right here, so it so looks nice and clean. And then put the straps back on. And that'll hold it in place. The two nuts on top, the two in the bottom of the car. Uh, so pretty much just in reverse order. Uh, if you guys have any questions, just uh, look back through the video. Um, if I didn't answer something or if you guys just have a question on something that I didn't show, uh, just leave a comment below. Uh, but I hope you liked the video. It was pretty straightforward. Uh, I went with the Beachworks DW uh, fuel pump. Part number is going to be right here. 9309108. And it's specific to the GTO. It's a drop-in. It's pretty straightforward. I was pretty easy to do so far. So I hope you guys like it. Peace out. Later.